G'day guys, I'm Matt Rosewan and I have Kleinfelder Syndrome. 15 years ago I made a video talking about Kleinfelder Syndrome and how it affects me. Now it affects everyone differently. Um, unfortunately I've got osteoporosis due, due, uh, due to uh, just on, on early onset and if I break a bone then shit I'm fucked down on aren't I? Um, I am 42 now um, and I am not on testosterone and I haven't been for a long time. Uh, because Kleinfelder syndrome people go through Kleinfelders differently, um, I've found that I am not able to um, take the medication due to either it, uh, I have an allergic reaction um, from the gel and from the roll-on thing that I tried and a bunch of other stuff, the patches that I would have like grow up, like welts all over my body um, and the injection would just, you know, it would, it would kill, it would, it would kill my leg and I wouldn't be able to work, walk for a week. So, I, I'm like, what do I do? How do, I, you know, I, but I'm fine. I'm fine without it. I don't need it. Um, I'm live, I've been living off testosterone for a long time. And if, well, I don't believe in God, but if God made me this way, then this is the way I'm meant to be. Um, uh, I've been noticing a bunch of other Kleinfelder syndrome men uh, out there messaging me saying you're wrong. It's not a disability, or you know, or, or you're not disabled, or you blah blah blah. It's like oh my god. Okay, uh, so recently I had a guy um, message me, and he goes, "How are you disabled?" Um, and I. Gave him the, the answer. I said, I've got osteoporosis. That's why I'm disabled. Um, and uh, he's like, he's like, but you're wrong. Uh, Kleinfelder syndrome isn't a, uh, isn't, a, isn't a disability. For some, it might be. May, maybe it's not for you, but it is for other people. Um, like, for instance, Kleinfelter syndrome. Now, Syn I look up syndrome at just just the word syndrome. Syndrome is a disability, um, and if you don't want to be in that in that category of disability, fine, don't be in it. I live your life, but live lo you live your life to the fullest to your own ability. But don't tell pe other people how to live theirs, mate. So. Um, I currently, um, I think my bottom wisdom teeth are coming through or they're just being very um, annoying at the moment. Um, I uh, have had my top wisdom teeth taken out, but the bottoms never came through. But I can feel something is wrong in the back of my, th my uh, left jaw at the moment. And I don't know if it's a tooth. Or if it's something to, I don't know, I don't know. There's something wrong in the back of my, and, and I've got an, I've got an uh, overbite, no underbite. So my my teeth on the bottom come over the my top teeth. Um, another reason I don't, well, in Australia, in Australia, because I'm Australian, um, I'm on the disability pension. Um, and I have it because I'm, I'm, I'm physically unable to work. Um, and I need to find other me means to, you know, occupy myself during the day. And I do, I do, I do my gaming, I do, um, I clean the house, you know, I do stuff. But, you know, there's just some stuff that I'm unable to do. And that's why I have, sometimes I have a lady who comes and does my bathroom for me. Because 
I physically cannot bend down for too long, otherwise I can't get back up again. My muscles, I have something wrong with my muscles as well. Um, I don't know what it is, the doctors haven't found out what it is. Um, but I'll, sometimes I'll cramp up, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, and maybe that's just a bit of old age, you know. Um, but look, I try to live my life to the fullest to my own ability and I wish every other Kleinfelder syndrome or disability person has who has a disability to do the same. Live your life to the fullest to your own ability, not to, not to Joe Blow's. If Joe Blow jumps off a bridge, are you going to jump off the bridge with Joe Blow? No, because I'm scared of heights and I don't want to. Because I have a choice to live my life the way I want to fucking live it. Um, I've also noticed um, that one of my good mates, Ryan, is in the dumps at the moment. He's not feeling the best. That's part of Kleinfelder syndrome. It's, uh, I have the same things, you know, I feel down sometimes. Sometimes I just don't want to do anything. But I'll get up in the morning and I'll go and do what I need to do. I'm not just going to sit there out of my hands and do nothing. My, this is, this is what I want to, uh, so, just trying to think of how I want to say this. So, um, I've been told by this guy that mess was messaging me that I'm giving out false information. I'm not. I'm giving you my information of how I've lived through Kleinfelder syndrome. Um, and maybe, you know, look, there's a guy in, there's a guy in the, uh, in New Zealand. He's a bodybuilder and he has Kleinfelder syndrome. So proud of him for being able to, you know, gain muscle, be a bodybuilder and have our syndrome. Like, that's just freaking amazing. He is living his life to his own ability. You know, one day if he gets older and the Kleinfelder, you know, it, it, it is a little bit, you know, Sure, we, we all age. It all happens. Oh, by the way, I've got the Mo for Movember. Um, doing it for the men out there. I'm doing it for the Kleinfelter men. Um, anyway, look, I'm just saying this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me anything you like. I'm here to help you. Uh, if you're a mother or, or if you have or a father that has a son that has Kleinfelder syndrome or your you yourself have Kleinfelder syndrome please don't be afraid to ask me any questions I've had plenty of questions throughout the years from the one I did nine years ago and the one that I did three years ago uh, yeah or no nine years ago three or six years ago sorry that because that was three years after I did that one six years ago it's been six years since I've done one of these videos um, but you know it's just it's just very frustrating when people come to you and they go you're wrong you're giving out false information you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, burns the <laughs> my soul so much. Um, just uh, I dislike those kind of people, um, and I have through the time that I've been on YouTube and I've talked about my syndrome. <clears throat> I've I've come across a lot of people who. Are negative and that are um, that uh, tell me that I'm wrong and tell me that uh, I, I don't know what I'm talking about and tell me you know all this stuff um, and all I have to say is uh, we all grow up differently we all have different symptoms we have the main symptoms 
you know, if you want to go back to my nine-year-old, not my nine-year-old video, which had 67,000 views. Um, the other one had uh, 4.6 thousand views. Whatever this one's going to get, I don't really care. But this, I'm just trying to spread awareness, and that's it. Um, <clears throat> if if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if you want to go back to those those videos, there's Living with Kleinfelder Syndrome three years later, and there's the Living with Kleinfelder Syndrome um, video. Uh, so I did these way, way, way before I knew Ryan or um, uh, Samuel uh, from New Zealand. He's not the bodybuilder that I was talking about, but. He is also one of the guys that wants to spread awareness of Kleinfelder Syndrome and they're doing it their way um, and I'm doing it mine. Uh, your child may not grow up like me, might not be physically affected like me. We'll all grow up differently um, and Kleinfelder Syndrome is not that bad. And look at me, I can grow a beard, well, I, I shaved it off, but I can grow a mo. I've got, I've got silver hair now, getting old, um, you know, I don't need testosterone to grow a full beard, and I'll have one at the end of the year again, well, in December anyway, um, because uh, I shave it off for November, and then I shave it completely off, and then I grow it all back again. And I don't need testosterone to do that. Uh, I've, I've done pretty well with my YouTube channel. 888 subscribers so far. I only need 122 uh, to go to get to 1,000 subscribers. That is my goal. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. And I will see you again soon. Um, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.